Make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell if you want to get the videos as soon as they upload. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pounds 978 custom video. And I want to show you a custom, but it isn't a Spider-Man. This is actually a original design created by someone who asked if I would make it. And at first, I really didn't want to make it because it's far out of anything I would do. But I thought I'd give it a shot. This is what the final product is. It's a purple custom with dark purple shading and a U that goes up. His name is Captain Up. I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you that. This is not my design. He doesn't have a head. Wasn't asked to make a head. I think he's getting it 3D printed and painted by someone who's far more capable of painting heads than I am. The body though is pretty cool. Honestly, I was asked to change the color because when I made it originally, it was a, a bit darker and the U shape was more rounded. And so he asked me to change it a couple times. So I did, and this is my best take on the reference pick. I wasn't asked to make a belt. I think he has a belt, but if he needed one, I do have a belt that would go perfect with that. But the U-shape, I think, is very similar. There are some things that I think would make it more accurate to the reference photo. It definitely looks better than it did before, so I'm not mad at that. But I think it could have been a little more accurate with the widening of the logo. And here's a reference of the kid's custom. He made it himself. He just wasn't happy with the paint rub issues. So he asked me if I could make it. And when I saw it, I said, damn, he pretty much got it himself. I wanted to give him tips on how to help him make his own custom. And that I probably will. So if you want, inbox me, bro, and I'll help you send that right away. So this is what I did. This was my first attempt. Before I added any shading to it, I just took an eel body because it was mainly purple. Sanded the joints that needed to be sanded. And then added my own purple on top, which was the same color eel was naturally. Well, from factory. So then I added another shade of purple a deeper purple on top of the lighter purple to kind of give it some some fading effect and it looked kind of iridescent when you looked at it the u shape was more rounded and when i showed the guy he didn't really really like it he was like it should be light and so i made a, a comparison picture and i thought that my purple and his purple looked pretty not spot on but they looked pretty equal enough and he just wasn't happy with it so he sent me this picture and he asked if i could make it a little more brighter and I posed it at first, I'm not gonna lie to you, I thought it was pretty good the way it was, but I went back and I just added another shade of a lighter purple to help bring out more of the shading that was under it. And in doing so, I kind of messed up the emblem, so I had to fix that. You can see there was a black border around the U and the arrow's missing, so I fixed the arrow. The black border is somewhat still there, but the logo was still rounded, too rounded, to match the reference photo and so looking at it you can see that it's more squished it's like rectangular flat squarish squished mine's looks pretty good except it isn't as squished as it should be so my buddy came up with a suggestion and he thought maybe i can paint more white to make the logo more rectangular and i could do that the problem is the purple i mixed i didn't have any more i ran out and the purple was such a specific color that i couldn't use any other purple and the reason why I needed purple is if I'm gonna add white, there's a chance that I could mess up the logo and I'm gonna need to clean up. And without being able to clean up, I can't ensure you a clean logo. So what I had was pretty good enough and I thought that it it represented the custom well enough. And I get it though, I understand how it could have been better, but I didn't wanna risk it. Here's a little side-by-side -side of what it was to what it is. What it was was darker and the emblem was more rounded. What it is now is a little bit brighter and the emblem is more square and rectangular. And I like them both, honestly. It doesn't really matter. I do like this lighter shade, though. I think it represents the reference shot more than the darker one does. I made a head in case I was going to review the figure, but I didn't keep the head because we didn't decide to review the figure. But I do like it overall. Let me know what you think about this custom. Do you want me to make more original artworks by you guys? If you want, send me some artwork to my P.O. box. My P.O. box is in the description and maybe we'll make some artwork. Maybe the coolest one will make it. I don't know, I don't know, we'll figure something out, but send me your artwork in my P.O. box. Don't inbox me your artwork. Send it to me in my P.O. box. I wanna see it physically, not digitally. Peace.